en que ella aprendió Ay, aunque es ni oré, me crea Once again, good afternoon to you. This is coming live from the studio of Majesty Christian Television Network, all the way from the Netherlands. And uh, we are discussing today on a very interesting topic, poverty among the Canadian youths in Amsterdam South Coast. And uh, it's a, a dialogue that we are having. So the youths are here, the parents are here, and also the religious leader, so that we can hear from different perspectives how we can bring a solution to this poverty issue among the Ghanaian youths in the Netherlands, especially Amsterdam South Oost. Welcome once again, panelists, to this beautiful broadcast. Um, the city council have it that uh, uh, the, Ghanaian, uh, the Ghanaians are the most difficult people to deal with when it comes to integration and openness. Uh, do you have anything to say regarding to this? Parents, this is a question to you. Why is it that the why is it that the Ghanaians are not they are very difficult to reach? They say that they are they, they operate in a very close uh, or syndrome, they, you can't penetrate them. When they even go for the language course, they are still speaking, uh, they, they are chewing. No, it's like you, you can't penetrate, you can't penetrate. So what, 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 is, what do you think is the reason to this, uh, 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 this uh, what do you call it, this sort of closure among the Canadian parents? Okay, uh, when we first came here, If you try to speak the Dutch, mm -hmm. the Dutch will tell you, hey, don't speak our language. Oh. They were not encouraging us to speak the language or to go to school. They all spoke English, and so they wanted you to speak English with them so that they better their English. Are you I was sure? Very much at the rye, I you, you, you say you are here so that people will know. The year you came here, you came here. By, by the 86, 85, mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that will help them. Mm -hmm. Working at the rye. If you try to speak Dutch, my boss there will tell you, hey, speak English. <laughs> <laughs> really? You are spreading your language. I was reading a book about the Netherlands. He said, their language is so difficult that foreigners don't want to learn their language. Instead, the Dutch people like to learn other languages so that they can communicate with foreigners. And okay. it's true. It's a book I was reading that was written there. Okay. And so, since the Dutch people are able to speak English and Ghanaians are English speaking people, when they come here, they don't see the need to learn. Why those people from Morocco speak, uh, they don't speak English, or from Turkey, they don't, and so they are forced to speak the language. Hmm. See? Yeah. If well, you go to Germany, but, mm -hmm. all the Ghanaians there speak German. Oh. Because they don't nobody speak uh, English, English with you. Yeah, okay. Or even to Paris, to France. Okay. Nobody yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was even in Paris. I took the bus. I asked the bus about something in English. I know the man understands what I'm saying. But yes. he never answered you because you spoke English. You see. And so, one, the encouragement was not there. Hmm. And when you stay in the country for a long time, then they ask you to go to change and learn it becomes difficult for you. Hmm. See, this may be one of the reasons. Then, wow, really? And then most of them, most of us came here, oh, they put a ceiling on their staying here. Oh, after 10 years, I'm going, about five years, I'm going back. Okay. Yes, and we never went back. That's true. That's true. That's true. So that's the reason why they are not, uh, they are so close. Yeah. Okay, and so if, I can't communicate with you. I it's true. Close. It's true. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Mm. What I want to add to is that if, for instance, if somebody is listening and want to challenge this assumption, then we have to ask them why is that Ghanaians in Germany speaking German? Mm. 
-hmm. Why is that Ghanaians in France are speaking France? Mm -hmm. It's because they, even when you are in German, you have to speak German because nobody is going nobody. to speak English mm -hmm. with you. Yes. And when you are in France, you have to learn how to speak French because nobody is going to speak. Mm -hmm. But here, when you are here, even when, when you begin to speak the dad, the person begins to speak English with you. Mm -hmm. And 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 yeah. that in that way that will not encourage you to <coughs> learn the language. Oh, well, are you not saying that they are the people yeah. making the just just because they are helping you to speak? No, English? we 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 can't because say helping. Probably, then, then why is that those in I'm Germany speaking them. German? No, probably but maybe the someone to do it from the beginning was not there. The, the question, then why is that those in Germany are speaking German? Yeah, because will, there will, nobody, will, nobody will speak English with you. I will mm. agree with them because I stayed in Italy for a while. Yeah, and Italy is the same, but they were helping the. Foreigners to learn. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for them, when you go there, mm -hmm. they know that they want you to learn their language. Yeah. Some people that when, okay, let me say my part that I was living, uh, most of them weren't speaking English. Yeah. So when you go there, you have to, you must. But yep. there were some schools that uh, it was like retired teachers. They came together and they were doing classes for, I mean, teaching the uh, foreigners free. It's like the community or the uh, but they have those things like that. They were well. learning, but is it free? It's not free. It has but been free then, for a long yeah, time, yeah, exactly. years yeah. upon years. It has been yeah. free. Oh, okay, it's but free. there is free, and you it's go. Free. They will teach you, and even if let me say you don't have any document, you can go. Okay. It was like that. So everybody. I yeah, mean, but here you must have of them, here must, yeah, yeah, you must. Yeah, all be of them were going. So you. Uh, uh, somebody will come within a month, and because of that, when you ask the person little, little thing, mm. the person can They're able to express it, themselves. Yeah. Okay. So that one is also. Okay. So, so we can deduce here that the language is a barrier to oh. their uh, openness. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have anything to say? Yeah, language is uh, yeah. a barrier to the communication. Yeah, yeah, it is. And of course, they made it so flexible for us to have our own way. Now, the, yeah. the, there is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. It is a problem, and the second generation are facing the yeah are facing the trouble. So, so uh, what? Uh, and when we first came here, they never made the language a priority. A priority. Yeah. Okay. But when the job uh, come now, uh, yeah, you know, difficult. Test, yes. Then they use the language mm, mm, as a, mm, a means to a yeah, yeah, a barrier. Yeah. Yeah. You can't speak so yeah because i quite remember when the uh, first one i mean there's so much work you yeah, know yeah. when you are they said even they in the board they have written it that you, if you, you can speak english if you yeah. can express yourself in english no problem there's a work for you to do but now that work is now difficult that's now come a yeah. composer that you have to speak the language before you can be able to get a work we do the school market yeah. after, after office yeah. hours, it's mm. the, the language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Even the primary one tables, that you speak, the same, they will still say it's not good. You have to wow. speak better. But what then can be done to help the Ghana community to be open? Because uh, sometimes, you know, in this building, they also have uh, the language school somewhere. Mm -hmm. And so I always see, when I, when I go to use the, the ladies, mm -hmm. then I see that Instead of them to be practicing the little Dutch they, mm -hmm. they have been taught, they are only the speaking the tree. Mm -hmm. They will scream and scream and scream and talk and talk and talk. And then, so no. in the class, they don't even interact. You, because one time I went, I went uh, in there because I wanted to talk something about women wellness. I wanted just to let them know that this sort of course I can also give it. So their, their teacher invited me to come and talk. And I was so surprised. Even it's like they, 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 they are also acting as if they don't even hear English very well. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I must speak three, but then I was not able to speak three. So when, when people are that way, it's very difficult to penetrate them. Well, well, I even that, that yeah. assumption I was challenging, I don't yeah. think we are very difficult to penetrate because one, mm. we know whole and English is the second language. And therefore, if any community that can speak English, I find it very difficult to be believe that Holland person is very difficult to penetrate. Because say Holland officially, English is their second language. And therefore, any community that can speak English, how do you say that community is very difficult to penetrate? I don't <laughs> think so. 
and also what I believe that now the second generation is taking over. Our yes. children and our children were born They're and, speaking, and yes. therefore they can speak a language. And we the first first generation, we, we are passing over, we are giving the baton to the second generation. So I don't believe now it is still true uh, uh, true that uh, our community is very difficult to well, penetrate. When I say it's, uh, the language is a barrier, I, I meant by um, the first generation, not everyone had an education so oh, not everyone can speak yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. To say. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. it's true, it's true, uh, it's true. The first Even generation. Right. Yeah, it's, Richard, it's, right? true. it's true. Not everyone can speak. So the Dutch will be a problem and the English language will be a problem. So and if mm -hmm. I can't understand... How can you help your child? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or even communicate with another ethnic uh, Okay, person. it's true. Wow. Wow. My so it, <laughs> it becomes necessary that the first generation have to improve. <laughs> My big um, no, the change of in language. This before you, you went to their mothers. 50 years or 40 years, they came here, they struggled so long before they get, got their documents yeah. Yeah. just to stay, not only just to have a living. Mm -hmm. So for about five years, their life were just uh, in that kind of suspense. Yeah. And after mm -hmm. five years, you tell them, go back to school. school. If why didn't mm -hmm. you give me the document in that those five years when I was struggling? Mm -hmm. I was struggling mm -hmm. to get a document mm -hmm. and you're asking me to go to school. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what would the, docu what would the school do to me? Mm -hmm. Yes, you say it to help me to integrate. For what? Mm -hmm. Then I ask the question. Mm -hmm. well, because mm -hmm. um, you are going to, um, they, you are, they are organizing these Dutch courses mm -hmm. for them to integrate, uh, to learn, to be able to learn the language. But I think these are people who have other things in their, mem their mind. They exactly. have those things to think of. They are just forcing them because they are taking the social, because they are taking your mm -hmm. money. You are forcing them to go to the school. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just invest in other social activities where they go there to talk, to mm -hmm. have some fun, and then to, to be more open, mm -hmm. okay. to, to release their psychological problems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. In the classroom for two hours just because he's taking the money. If not, the money will be cancelled. So, and then... And invest the money elsewhere because there are so many things that you can invest in in this uh, among the group. Yeah, exactly. But and they <laughs> wouldn't want them to just be getting the money <laughs> without being involved because <laughs> if it uh, starts from one step, you can, if you are able to integrate, if you are able to understand mm -hmm. the language, mm -hmm. probably your situation will change. That mm -hmm. means you wouldn't remain a cleaner for the rest of your years. But you see? Like so because I believe that even though you think they are comfortable in that zone, they are not really very very comfortable. Why because they were in the in the early 80s, 90s, yeah. they, the money was there. There was a big part with money and they were given to the immigrants, if I should say. Yeah. But now the money, it's, yeah. it's reducing. Yeah. There's no more money coming in. Yeah. So they, they have to find ways and means to yeah. cut off the money. But yeah. So now no, they have to, for, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. pressure on you. Yeah. 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 So language, it's not easy to be learning language throughout your life. It's exactly. not, at a point in time, you mm -hmm. cannot just be, learn another language mm -hmm. because you, and you have to question <laughs> what the importance of that language to you even though yes i'm in the country but i am 45 years i'm 50 years in my early years i went to school i finished secondary school after a long time i've never been to school and then you bring me back to the classroom i have my children to take off i have uh, this and that to take off and you're just really. trying to so they are not achieving their aim but so they don't want to put an end to it and concentrate on other things because I think they have a lot to, to, to learn from other countries. Yeah. From the US, from uh, France and others. They have exactly. other countries to learn from and yes. invest in the second generation. That is much important because the money has to be invested in them and see how best they can help them. Um, for instance, as uh, to be one of my uh, recommendations, yeah. parents did not have, even if you don't have education, I th uh, you don't have to read to your child. You just yeah. have to sit by your child at mm. 30 minutes a, a day. Mm. You can sit by your child and let your child have pre take the book and be reading. Not just maybe you leave the child behind the computer and say learn. But you sit by your child, you don't know anything about what is the child. But you know that that is a book. We definitely, once you're sitting there, at a point in time, the child is going to pick the habit of reading. So maybe that is one thing which has to, for maybe they, they do that with their intention that parents will be able to learn the language and with that they can help their children also in their reading. But yeah. they, it's not going to work, but they have to get to the alternatives. Okay, before they, we come to that um, uh, recommendation, let me just ask one more question and then that will be the last one, okay? okay. Uh, to the parents, in what way do you think um, 
or you can be helped to raise your children better. In what yeah. way? Yes. What would you like to what would you like to see or uh, what would you like to be changed in the way uh, the, Ghanaian, uh, the Ghanaian children are being raised so that uh, they don't have this stack? Well, first of all, I would say that I believe the government can help us in the way of, for instance, the way we pay our amenities. I believe that the housing housing cost is very, 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 very high. For instance, if I'm going to pay about uh, seventy percent of my so income, so in, 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 to the rent alone, yes, then you know, and, and, and that that is a lot. I feel, so I believe that the way this is the way the government can help is to make sure that. You know, he subsidizes, you know, especially the rent yes, because true. it takes a lot of our money. Mm -hmm. You know, so I believe that's one of the ways that the government can can help with we, 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 we the pay because if, if the parents is mm -hmm. if the parent is doing very good, it to be translated yes, onto yes, onto, yes, onto the children. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Into the, even, mm -hmm. Yes, is that going to be done to only Ghanaians or to everybody? But we are not talking but about the Ghanaians. We are, we are talking about we, so yeah. we can't talk about everybody. Yeah. We, are, we are talking but about. I think mm -hmm. the government is doing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, he's best okay. to help us. Only we are not accepting it. A lot of schools have been opened for us to go for free. Yeah, to lend it. I'm not best to attend those schools. Okay. You see, okay. they may organize in those days. You can buy or recording uh, or now a casanoma may organize something. How many people attend? Yes. See, there, there, there is something mm -hmm. in that should be changed. Change, first. No, yeah. We can't blame the government for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The government is doing its best to help us. But we are not helping ourselves. Mm -hmm. a, we have a wrong think, notion. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. and the, yeah, mis, one, of the, one of the misconceptions leaders of this organization was telling me they had organized, a, mm -hmm. just look, last week Saturday, they organized a program and they invited people from the Ghanaian community. Nobody had been mm -hmm. there. So we are not, uh, that's part of the closeness we're talking about. We don't, yeah. we are not really involved uh, really in the issues that matter. Yeah. Only funerals and things. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the best clothes. <laughs> funerals. That is true. Uh, it's like uh, maybe we are so um, in our comfort zone, you know, we want just to be where we are. To. But uh, I think in behind our mind, um, some of the parents, yeah. uh, as you said, uh, some sometimes they, they they think I don't know whether it has happened before. They have used some people before because they said they now they do this uh, this uh, um, programs programs. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, these programs uh, just to uh, uh, use them to get money, okay. subsidy, and other things. So now when you are doing, they don't want to go. They don't want to go. Yeah, so I think they have to educate them to yes. things have to be transparent to, to them to know. So that so if not so, if you do, they will not come. They said the, the, you are using them yeah. to make yeah. a pro project. Yeah. yeah, to to the uh, to the, no, the start is, and the, get the money. The fact is that the the, the city council has a reserve money budget. Mm. For certain activities, yes. Yes. those activities are supposed to be done by mm. uh, they call it self organizations in the community. Yes, yes. Right. they're not uh, money meant for individuals, no. yeah. but they're meant for let's say awareness creation, yeah. yes, activities to bring people together. Like sometimes in the radio, we do mm. this are specifically meant for those, so you and cannot you, get money that is not meant for, you and you have to write it in that way that exactly. they cannot because these people are too smart that mm. yeah. you cannot go and um, yeah. write uh, yeah. some yeah. projects without um, or to inflate your prices. No, that, you know, because you still the, have to pro provide no, the receipts of whatever. No, no, let me finish. You see, the people have to understand that they have earmarked funds for certain things. You can only get the funds only when you have you meet the criteria for the funds. So, the, like what we do on radio sometimes, the city council may say, "Do this program for us. We want you to tackle this topic to create awareness." Yes. And they'll pay for the airtime for that. Yeah. The airtime. Sometimes they say, "Okay." Uh, make uh, create awareness about sexual health on this area or this area, and then we organize an event, invite people to come. You see, so the the, the whatever budget uh, funds they get is for organizing those events, and yet our people don't want to come because they they think 
Their yeah, money yeah, goes to you. Yeah, yeah, so you have to educate them. Yeah, where is the their money? Go, their money comes thinking. to you. Yeah, where is the money? You buy that is to, stupid thinking. Yeah, guess already. They say, okay, how much are you going to pay? Can, yeah. you, yeah. can you imagine yeah, that? Their money? The money comes to you is when it, you call them. So they, you have to educate them. It, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a, a wrong uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's Exactly. Every year, the government allocates some funds for such things. If by the close of the fiscal year, yeah, the money has been utilized. It goes back to chest. Yeah. What do we gain from that? Because the people so don't want to I go and try project those projects again because of the notion that mm. you've taken money. To help my own community. And so, you know, if I attend your meetings, you're going to earn something from me. Yeah. And I won't come. Can you imagine that? It's so know. funny. Yeah. The, the type of it's mentality. Yeah. I believe that yeah. apart from being it's a, it's a cultural perception. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to break this, this, this cultural barriers. Yeah. For me, like I said, my problem is that we are we are translating this value to our to children our, exactly. who were born here, which who shouldn't be the case at all. At all yeah. Because that the same happening when a guy when a guy is in your church for you to pay money or you, you because you know when he pay the money, you the you pastor or your the wife person is person enjoying. Person. Yeah, also. Only most only Ghanaians would think that. Mm -hmm. the person in the you know, so you just give it tight or then after you know it's blessed. You think about the blessed, but Ghanaian, no, no, no. Yeah. You look at you. You, you, you were saying it's something, Pastor. Some, you were saying something that yeah. the the Ghana, like the Nigerians yeah. in the, your yeah. church, yeah. how they support the, 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 the ministry giving. because you and know he's been blessed. For he's thinking about the blessing, exactly. which, is, which is true. He will be blessed, but Ghanaian will not think about thinking how they you are going to use the money, how you are going to live in your car, how your wife is going to be big. Wow. No, they won't give that money. No, 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 they want no, to no. use it for himself. No, Ghanaians in our church they will give us a lot of trouble. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere Ghanaians. Everything. They will do that. No, no, you wouldn't do that because you know you'll be, you know you'll be blessed and sure you'll be blessed. But that's what he's thinking. And so this, uh, this is a question of something so, that Richard, we, we have to break it. You said that money has been allocated for the minority and they are fortunate to be part of the minority. And now they are not uh, coming out uh, when you call them for any anything like this because they think money is involved. So And they use that same mentality to pass over to their children. You call them for a program, they say money is involved. And sometimes for me it's so funny that people can be thinking this way. So don't you see that it's hindering their growth? It is. Uh, it yeah, is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. But you think have to, um, they say some have some, uh, I would say, some facts for maybe for why they say that because maybe all of a sudden uh, you see that, that this guy has started living that gorgeous life oh. because of something that which came out. Because they told me. <laughs> I wasn't here in the 1990s, but I told me when these um, age funds came out in yes. the 1990s, how some people got the money and started living in different ways. <laughs> and they were just going, joining the program, they were being called, immediately they were called, they were there. Any program that they were called, they were there. They were very active, moving around. Then all of a sudden, so these are some of the things, it's not that some people <laughs> act because of just cultural or some, because of their yeah, some experiences and some have also not, some did not just come straight to Holland. They have moved from maybe from Germany, from other places, and they have lived different experiences. And each one has its own his, uh, migration history. So that is also one thing. And about the youth and about associations, the question is membership. You, um, you cannot uh, organize um, or form an association and then you stay on your own. Always the three or four of you are the members of the organization and you are running everything. You need to recruit members. You need to have membership in your group. Mm. Otherwise, what kind of organization is that? <laughs> there is no um, voluntary organization without members. Yeah. In the international um, NGOs, yeah. they have members paying uh, what is... Um, SOS, they have membership everywhere. Some Ghanaians are members, yeah. they pay money through their PayPal, through their accounts, because they have members and they have had come to understand what they are doing. Yeah, so okay. it's a matter of convincing people of what you are doing. Some people don't even know what their aims and objectives are. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know that they came out, they come out with this program, they come out, we know that these associations are there. But what they really stand for, you don't know. they don't convince people to join. You have to go out and reach the church. Because you see there are about uh, length from the uh, that 350 churches in Ghana, uh, Ghanaian churches in Holland. 
in Amsterdam, and now they are 400 this year. Yeah, yeah. All of them have members in their churches. How did they get the members, and why is it that ethnic organizations are not getting members? They go out, evangelize. So, if you have an organization, just you take the, the same tactic so that when you have a program, you don't have to be now looking for people. So, it is like uh, you need me, you call me, you don't need me, don't call me. So, you have to recruit members where you have meetings. Transparent, you have accounts every yes. end of the year. You are not eating, you are not eating the money. If yes. you render accounts, people know we have executives, we have a kind of change of executives, yeah, every four years or every whatever year, so that some people feel what kind being represented and participation. Yeah. If there is no participation, there's a kind of inactive participation. I don't think we can move on that way. Thank you so much. We are about to round up now, and then uh, the last question has to go to the youths. Um, any radical idea on how this poverty picture can be changed uh, for something better? Is there any radical, uh, any radical idea? Like activ activity will be uh, fine. I think if there should be unity, and uh, I always say religion and um, politicians run the uh, people. So mm -hmm. maybe if the churches will unite and come together and educate us we the youth yeah mm -hmm. i think that will help and from our pa uh, parents too so uh, that that will help to break this poverty yes. syndrome mm -hmm. yes. i think also the structural yes. issue is very important yes. about because from the interviews that i had m apart from the professional that is those who are lawyers and doctors mm. those who are who did management who did political science they are not being employed in their field of studies and they are not even they are employed in different areas but if you look into it their mm -hmm. contract is mbo level and other but not the hbo level or the university level that they have so this structural issue is a problem and i think the amsterdam southeast there are a lot of factories there are a lot of offices mm -hmm. coming up here they have to get in the social responsibility they have to get in touch with them and then try to invest because it's always it's unfortunate i told my one of my friends who's an anthropologist i tell you have a study of just 12 o'clock one o'clock when the offices are on break just look at the people who come out they are all white yeah how can we live in a, a, a nearby black neighborhood and yes. having only white people coming out of the exactly. offices yes. and at five o'clock you see black people We're entering going to so that's how i'm <laughs> this out age. Uh, uh, this is awesome because i was speaking recently <laughs> with somebody i was speaking recently with somebody and i was asking uh, he said that look these buildings are coming up these buildings are coming up and we are trying mm. to renovate this mm. one for a hotel mm. and this and I said, but after doing all of this, create job for those in South East. Mm -hmm. Don't go outside South East to go and get those who will come and work, work. in these places. Mm -hmm. Because those who live here are supposed to benefit from the yeah. the, the of, uh, job uh, opportunities that are coming yeah, exactly. up. But that's not what we are saying. Yeah. Well, we're going to round up very soon. i give you one, one minute just, just to say something on the radical way to remove this, this poverty tag. Yes, Anita, before you sign up. Um, the mindset of my own people has to change. Or mindset has to be yeah. changed. That's what you are saying to your generation mm -hmm. and to those who are listening to us. Yes, mindset. What about you, Kwesi? Yeah, I think the churches has a lot of work to do. They have to educate because when you look at the statistics, it's from 0 to 17 and these people are not joining the tribal organization or something like that. Yeah. So they will get them from the churches. So the churches do have a lot of work to do. They have, we have to start from there. Pastor, yeah. you've heard it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Uh, do you have anything to say, Richard? <laughs> I just have to continue to encourage the second generation migrants that they are doing well for going through the step-by-step -step system of Dutch education. They should keep up and never give up. And I know that when in their 30s and they are going to be in the middle class, Dutch middle class. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, to you, uh, Mr. Dami, We have parent. to change with time. We have to change with time. As the, our lady said, my yeah. daughter said, say our mindset. Yeah. See, the way of thinking previously should not be the same way today. Thank you, sir. And uh, Mama Some Reman? of the youth are aiming high, but though that are weak, we need to help them, to encourage them. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, Pastor? Well, I believe, I believe that the government should, when they are planning their project, they should put uh, the church into perspectives. You should have more time for the church. Because I found now that they have very little time for the for the churches. Yes. Because we church will do a lot of contribution in our social, it's true. in our political settings. So they should have the church you know, in their mind when they are planning their projects. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you so much for being our guest today. And uh, we will take all of these ideas back to them. And we hope that something can be changed. 
thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Well, viewers, uh, uh, this uh, broadcast has been made possible through Majesty Christian Television Network, and uh, we hope that you continue to watch this uh, channel. And in case you want to uh, listen to this broadcast, please, uh, in the next uh, few uh, few minutes, just go to the YouTube and then download it and then uh, uh, circulate it among those in your network. I believe that all the healthy ideas that have come out today will help to improve uh, uh, the, the, the youths that are here, uh, especially the Ghanaian youths and also uh, or youths from the other uh, ethnic groups. Thank you for watching us and God richly bless you. Bye.